Right now, though, we are going to talk a little bit of tech this morning. It's Wired Wednesday. Artificial intelligence has been at the forefront of a lot of innovation recently. We'll be seeing some deep dive discussions on that today, actually, as new site Axios is hosting the first ever AI Plus Summit right here in San Francisco happening today. And joining us to tell us what we should expect at the event is Ryan Heath, AI journalist with Axios. Ryan, thanks for being here nice and early. So such a pleasure to be here with you live. I know, and you're in person. You're not an AI. Exactly. We want humans at the center of AI, so that's the spirit we're bringing to the summit today. So tell us a little bit about what people can expect. So we want to really bring in speakers that show you how your life and your work and your relationships might change through AI. So that's people like Justine Bateman, the actor, talking about how livelihoods are changing in Hollywood and across the country, talking about the people building the AI ecosystem at Meta, their head of generative AI. I, the folks who are bringing it into the business world, the people who are developing relationship chatbots, and we've got a bunch of experiences as well where people can go in and actually use AI, create new photo experiences, see how it works at Wimbledon or the US Masters, and that full range of life and AI all in one space. And I think that's the thing, right? We have so many questions still because it is new to a lot of us, but mm -hmm. I feel like it's in creeping in in so many facets of our life, including things like a robot dog, which yes. is something that you'll have featured there today. Tell us a little bit about that. And I mean, is this something that I would have as a pet or something used for yep. more like businesses and things like that? So that's really about where can AI go that humans cannot go safely or where it's just difficult and complicated. Mm. So if you are inspecting the underbelly of a plane or some other cramped space where there is a HVAC system, for example, you don't want humans going in there risking their life. So how can we get AI that helps humans? And so this one is called Astro, Jetson Astro, the robot dog. And we're gonna go see him jump up on stage. We're gonna get the audience to deliver commands to the robot dog and have them actually interact and see what that is like as an experience. I mean, it's fascinating just looking at some of this video, it doesn't look super fluffy and friendly, but <laughs> I do see the advantage of going places where maybe you as, so, as a person don't want to go in if it's not safe or interesting. The Jetsons definitely were uh, one up on us early on for sure. Tell me about other things that people are really concerned about. We mm -hmm. talk a lot about music and how that, of yeah. you know, AI, we just had a story about Bad Bunny who has a song, you know, that's mm -hmm. getting very popular on Spotify, but he didn't even sing it. Yeah, so some artists are very happy with that. They want people to go and create new things with their content, but often that isn't licensed. So there's no compensation coming back mm -hmm. to those artists. So we're now starting to see tools develop where people can essentially protect their artworks by poisoning them to stop other people using them inside their AI models. We're going to see licensing regimes, a bit like Spotify in music, but for AI generated art and other content. So it's all going to move in a positive direction. But the question is, will people have some of the income taken away before those new systems come into place? Are we going to have to wait for the courts to give us answers or will Congress step in and create some guardrails? So we're going to talk about how people are developing all of those systems right here in the world's AI capital. Is there like anything for you after covering AI for mm -hmm. a bit now that really sticks out as one of the probably most beneficial things about it we could use mm -hmm. in our day to day life? Like what is the one thing you think that we really should dive in and look more into? I think it really helps you get away from that blank page where you stare at a screen or a to do list and you just don't know how to start. AI can really help you through that hump. But we have to think of ways where it makes us better as humans or delivers sort of proper outcomes for us. We don't want AI replacing humans. So I think the key is really how do we have human-centered AI? And if we can just think about that from the beginning, we'll end up with things that help us instead of replacing us. If it does my laundry, Ryan, I will be very happy <laughs> There you with go. That. that was the right answer. That's what we need. <laughs> yeah, I look forward to that for sure. We appreciate you coming in in person today. And good luck today at the summit. And I'm sure it'll be very interesting to see what people get into and learn about. Thank you.